Now that we know how to count intervals on the staff, let's talk about the quality or the kind of intervals there are. There's this handy dandy chart that you can print out um, and I'm going to show you how to use it right now. So let's say you're being asked to identify some intervals that look like this. First of all, let's go ahead and count them, okay? So remember, line, space, line, space, line. That's five. So we know that it's a fifth. Now we have to find out what the quality of that fifth is. Let's look at our chart. All of the kinds of intervals there are use whole steps and half steps. So now that we know that this is a fifth, we're going to use Mrs. PK's handy dandy paper keyboard to figure out the number of half steps and whole steps. So this is the treble clef, C to G sharp. Here we go. We know here is our starting point, here is our destination. We have to count the whole steps and half steps from there to there. Ready? One whole step, two whole steps, three whole steps, four whole steps. Okay, let's find on this four whole steps. Okay, on this top chart, there are no, no choices that are four whole steps. Let's hear four whole steps, but this is a minor sixth, and we already know that this is a fifth. Therefore, that's not going to work. We're looking for four whole steps. Nope, not here. Bingo! This is an augmented fifth, so we're going to write the word aug in front of it. And that's all you have to do. Let's do some more. Remember, this chart and your paper keyboard are all you need to figure out the intervals. Okay, now, let's take a look at this one. This is the bass clef, okay? So we have space, line, space. That's a third. We're gonna write a three down. That's very important because we know from figuring out the augmented fifth that it can also be mistaken for a minor six because it's the same four whole steps and four whole steps. But the quality of the interval is important. The number of the interval and the quality is important. Now, here we go. Um, that's a C, because this is the bass clef, and that's an E flat. So our starting point is C, and our ending point is E flat. Ready? One and a half. One and a half whole steps. One and a half, nope. One and a half, bingo. And that is a third, so this is it, minor third. So knowing the number of the intervals confirms with this chart exactly if you have the right answer or not. Let's try this guy out. One, two, three, four. This is four, so I'm gonna write a four. That's important to know. Now. It's a D to a G. Time for the keyboard. Here we go. D to G. One whole step. Two whole steps and a half. Two and a half whole steps. Time for the chart. Two and a half whole steps. Four, four, perfect fourth. I'm gonna write an uppercase P. Now, we're gonna come over here. Space, line space, line, space. That's a fifth. I'm going to write a five down. It's important for me to know that number. Now I'm going to look at the names of the notes. That's an E and a B sharp. Paper keyboard time. E to B sharp. And we all know that B sharp is C natural, right? Because it's the next note to the right. Okay. Now let's count our whole steps. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Four whole steps. Okay. Four whole steps. Here we go. This seems familiar. I think we've already done four whole steps. And we certainly have because that's an augmented fifth. Look at that. What are the odds 
we'd have two augmented fifths on the same row. Now, let's try again with this one. Space, line, space, line, space, line, space. A seventh. Okay, we know it's a seventh. Now, we need to find out our starting and ending points for a paper keyboard. C to B. C all the way up to B. Ready? One, two, three, four, five and a half. Okay, five and a half whole steps. What do we have here? Five and a half whole steps, major seventh. That's a seven. It's a match. Excellent. Okay. Now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to look at this guy because I don't think we've done any that look like this one. Okay. Line, space, line, space, line, space. That is a sixth. I'm going to write a six. Yeah, we haven't done a six yet. Now, what kind of sixth is it? We have C to A flat. Here's our starting point. Here's our ending point. Ready? One, two, three, four. Four whole steps. Four whole steps. I'm beginning to know that four whole steps is an augmented fifth. But this is a sixth. Oh, I remember we came across that. The minor sixth. Look at that. The minor six is four whole steps. So we're going to write a little M. And there you have it.